the traditional way of dealing with GUI commands. A GUI with buttons. You click a button. Action listener receives message about button and must then decide what to do with it and run the appropriate routine. Now imagine adding a new function. You write the functionality, add code to the action listener, and add the button to the GUI itself. This is a lot of work. Imagine this in real life. This is my street. This is my house. This is my apartment, my elevator with a really old GUI, and my floor. My license plate, my bunny, and my roommate. Say hello. But what's that? I hear somebody knocking on the door. As a good action listener I am, I check with my list what I should do when somebody knocks on the door. Meet me. Knock. Hey, Stephanie, can you open the door? No, answer it yourself. Eventually, somebody opens the door. But too late. Our guest is gone. Incidentally, this is how the government works too. Okay, and the answer to our plugged up, inefficient coding? Ta-da! The command pattern. You'll still have to make your own coffee, but it is better than taping the action handler to the GUI. The idea is to have a generic, no-maintenance action listener like this one. Using the command pattern, there is already a link from the button to the action. When the action listener receives the signal, all it has to do is link back to the object that sent the message and then just execute the command. To accomplish this, we define an interface for the command. Then we extend the appropriate GUI class to implement the command. But this doesn't properly separate GUI and action if we were to extend new classes for every little command. To make life easier, we implement a command holder. By extending the GUI class to be a generic command holder, any such class can refer to any command with little or no maintenance. And the action handler is very simple. But now the action listener can do more than just dispatch commands. It can queue commands for delayed execution, make a history list to perform the same commands again later, and it is much easier to implement undo. But it will not help you unclog your toilet. In fact, it may clog up your namespace with command classes, which could be confusing to read, which means you'll be the only one who can read the code, which in theory brings higher salaries. Then you can get somebody else to plant your toilet. Any questions? No? Okay, bye.